next story we go to Vienna, Austria, where renowned psychologist Dr. Maria van Fitzbolden has solved a problem that has been vexing humanity for eons. Why we are so bad at relationships. Dr. van Fitzbolden, welcome. Tell me, what does your research show? Thank you, Stephanie. I have discovered that evolution is to blame. Evolution? How? It's simple, really. Suppose two people are in a relationship and it's not going so well. What are some common things they do? Go for counseling? Although we invented psychoanalysis here, it never works. What else? Uh, arrange to spend quality time together? Quality time? What are you talking about? They don't like being around each other. I don't know then. What? They increase the commitment level. They get married because they think that will fix it. And does it? What are you, a dumb cop? Of course not. So then they have kids. How would that help? It doesn't. But they think it will. So people who are good at relationships recognize bad ones and they get out of them before harm is done. But the people who are bad at relationships stick around in them and they have kids. And so they have a reproductive advantage. So what does this all mean? It means that the gene pool is flooded with people who are shy at relationships. They crowd out everybody else and we are all doomed. And so what can people who are good at relationships do? Have more kids to improve the gene pool. Do you have kids? I have four kids. One with each of my first four husbands. Thank you, Dr. Van Witzbold. Next up on Action 7 News after the break, local geneticist is turned reckless after he breeds a 75-kilogram chihuahua. <laughs> 